me to do a collar update. Um, a lot of people have been asking me how the collars are doing. So we're going to show you an update on how much they have grown. We've had a lot of rain here um, in Four Oaks. This is where my mom and brother does the produce farming at. I know like two or three weeks ago they had over 11 inches of rain and then we've had a lot of rain this past yesterday. Probably about two or three more inches of rain. So they're doing pretty good with all the rain that we've had. Um, so we can show you how much they have grown. So this is how much they have grown since we set them out. Um, they have been plowed probably a two or three times and they'll probably be plowed again and then we'll have to go over and chop and get some of the weeds out in the fields. Um, and they'll be ready for har harvest around November. A lot of people won't see them at Thanksgiving and Christmas and New Year's. He has different kind of varieties of pumpkins he planted. There's either some little decorative pumpkins like the ones here. Um, a lot of people use these for decorating inside like on their tables or their coffee tables. Any type of little decoration that can do inside these pumpkins can be used. Um, there's that kind. There's also some little, they're all different kinds. I think they're actually called acorn um, squash or pumpkins here. I'm not for sure exactly all the variety he's got here, but it's just some that's been cross mixed and it's just different kinds of gourds and pumpkins.
so they won't rot on them. These are called the flax stackable pumpkins that you can stack two or three pumpkins on top. Yesterday we went and harvested some pumpkins. We cut some pumpkins, little pumpkins, big pumpkins, gourds. Um, today, before I actually put them out to decorate, I usually dip them in a solution that's um, with water and Clorox. It helps kills the fungicides and the bacteria, so your pumpkins will last longer for decoration. So I'm going just going. Usually, uh, if you don't have a lot of pumpkins that you have to dump into water or with the if you don't have a lot of pumpkins to decorate with you could use a bucket a five gallon bucket and some water and usually you can do every teaspoon of Clorox of every four cups of water um, but since I'm got a lot of pumpkins I'm using a bigger tub so I can do more and put in it to, to it'll process quicker um, so I'm probably gonna put about a cup of Clorox in this tub though it's only filled it's not quite a half a tank a half full it's just mm, it's about right here is where the water's at so it's not quite half full so i'm gonna probably put about a, a cup of clorox in there and i'm just gonna pour pour it in the water putting my little pumpkins in here. I'm going to let all the little ones kind of sit in here. I use a little sit for like 15 or 20 minutes in the Clorox water mixture. Um, and then I'll take them out and let them dry and wipe them off and clean them up with a towel. And then they're ready to be put on your porch for decoration. Okay, it's been about 15 minutes. I've been soaking in um, water and cork. Clorox. Um, so I'm going to take them out now and we'll wipe them off and then let them dry in the sun and then they'll be ready for decorating on the porch or in the house. So I'm just taking them and wiping the water and the dirt off all. So they'll be nice and clean and shiny.
got the little ones already cleaned and put out, letting them air dry. Um, I'm gonna do the big ones. I'm gonna let them be put in the Clorox water mixture and let them soak for about 15 minutes. Also, I don't know if I can get them all to fit in here, but I'm gonna try. 